with Hophead 9 and W2M, Utahsat is introducing the first two satellites in a far-reaching investment program designed to expand, renew and secure the resources of its in-orbit fleet. A total of seven satellites are involved, with launch dates before the end of 2010. Built by EADS Astrium, Hophead 9 joins Utahsat's 13 degrees east neighborhood. This flagship position broadcasts over 1,100 television channels to 120 million homes and is the world's number one orbital location in terms of the number of channels broadcast. To secure services at 13 degrees east, Utahsat has ordered from EADS Astrium three identical large satellites. They will provide full redundancy for the 102 transponders operated at this position. Hotbird 9 joins Hotbird 8, which was launched in 2006. When Hotbird 10 arrives on station, Utahsat's inter-satellite sparing program will be complete. Hotbird 9 will help further advance the development of digital and high-definition TV. The satellite will also deliver channels to cable and DTT networks and the add-on TV coverage needed for triple play offers. As all the Hotbird satellites, Hotbird 9 will serve Europe, North Africa and the Middle East. Entry into service of Hotbird 9 will make it possible to release Hotbird 7A from its original mission at 13 degrees east. The satellite will be relocated to Europe's new European broadcasting neighbourhood at 9 degrees east, increasing the number of operational transponders from 20 to 38. The second satellite, W2M, will operate up to 30 transponders. Built by a consortium assembling EADS Astrium and the Indian Space Agency ISRO, W2M will be launched at 16 degrees east to replace the W2 satellite in service since 1998. Hosting almost 400 digital channels, 16 degrees east is one of the leading orbital positions for broadcast in Central and Eastern Europe and, via its steerable beam, it is a prime video neighbourhood for the islands in the Indian Ocean. These markets are experiencing solid growth, in particular in Central and Eastern Europe, where cable and satellite reception has grown at double-digit rate over the last four years. With the arrival of high-definition TV and growth in broadband applications, more than ever we need space to communicate.